Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Pamela and I make content on all different things including horticulture, hair, bags, and my life. So if you're interested, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Today I have something pretty awesome that I'm filming. It's a product review. I was sent this uh, from Sesta Cash. Sestash. I think that's how you pronounce it. But this is the Easy Mount Nail Free Flower Pot. And I'm so excited to try this. I've seen these self-watering with wick sort of planter pots so I'm very excited to get this so when you open up the box you get the water holder you get a sticky pad and you get just a thank you note you also get inside of the planter pot you get a just a planter pot and then a cash pot and inside there's the wick that wicks up the water from your cash pot. So I actually want to demonstrate this product for you guys. I want to use some rooted philodendron that I've had since about December and they have a good amount of thick roots on them. I will show you guys better close-ups in a little bit. I also have this philodendron uh, scandens that I do want to add with those cuttings. So let's get into a close-up of me testing this product out. Okay, so here I am with my pot and the cash pill. So as you can see, they have this string here. And I'm just going to make sure I just pull it a little bit tighter. So it's flat on my pot and I'm just gonna set this aside so welcome back what I have now is just some pre-mixed soil which I am going to go ahead and pour inside of here I made I'm making sure to use pretty dusty and dry soil because I want to see how good the wicking of moisture is going to be so I really let the soil dry out so next I am going to just go ahead and plant the first philodendron So now I am going to also plant my cuttings. Beautiful. I do want to note that this is a pretty deep pot, so this would fit two four inch potted plants comfortably versus just one four inch potted plant. So I'm adding some of my cuttings. spreading this put it in the middle grab these Thank you. 
and I'm going to add the rest of my soil. deep in and not just foraging out on the outskirts of the pot okay so this is how it looks now the next thing that you do is fill your pot with some water some water here I filled it up you know a good point you can't see but I am then going to insert this planter to fit snug without having water drip from my situation. I guess so the, the only thing I can say is it doesn't mark to tell you where to stop pouring water. So when you push it in, um, water actually I filled it up out, you know, so a good point. Keep a towel with you when you are filling this up with water. So I'm just gonna wait you know, a little bit of time. And guys, that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and just stick this up somewhere. You can leave it sitting down on a table. So this is a really, really cool concept that obviously has been out for a good amount of time, but this is my first time trying one of these planters. And yeah, I will be you know reviewing this for well I'll be trying this out for the next hopefully forever and let you guys know an update on how this planter is uh, yeah so guys thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up thumbs up for the self watering wicking pots they're really awesome I also want to say that all opinions are my own in this video. Um, I really do love this cool concept of just a self-wicking, self-watering planter. So I also love that you can hang this up again. It sticks so you don't even have to use nails to hang this up. This is really, really amazing and I cannot wait to get more. I actually want to get some more.
so guys thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up thumbs up for these cool self-watering planters if you aren't already subscribe join this little cookie family because we're pretty awesome here and i will see you on the next one let's get growing bye